Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our 2022 virtual RV show. In this segment, Mitch and I are gonna be going over our tent trailers. So let's take a deep dive into them. Okay guys, so we are standing in front of the 1940 LTD Rockwood Freedom. This floor plan is gonna feature a front queen bed, a rear double bed, and then you've obviously got your four person dinette as well. We're coming in around 1600 pounds and 14 feet overall length. So if you guys, have, uh, if you guys are looking for something to tow with your minivan um, or something that has a lighter towing capacity, Small this SUV. Would, yeah, this would be your uh, the trailer for you. So, um, really great floor plan it's highly sought after so Mitch why don't you take us through a little bit of the exterior and show us what makes Rockwood unique absolutely so um, if you're familiar with Rockwood Rockwood has been building tent trailers since the 70s um, they've basically annihilated the industry and led the industry over all those years where they have been the number one selling tent trailer in the market um, reason being is that they are full of options and the quality is amazing inside of these coaches um, so just going to take you through a few features. Uh, the Rockwood um, 1940 here has a power lift system here on the front. If you do recall going camping back in the day in a tent trailer as a kid, you're going to remember your dad or your grandparents hand cranking everything. Um, you're not going to have to do that with this Rockwood. It does have, just with the touch of a button down here, it will lift the roof up for you and then you can pull your beds out and start setting everything up. It does come equipped with a 20 pound propane tank as well on the coach and when you buy it here from Rangeland, we're going to fill that propane tank up for you. Um, over the years, they've changed this. They've stepped away from the canvas just because the canvas used to soak up all of the water and it would hold it in there. Um, they've gone to a vinylon material. Now, this vinylon material is a lot more durable. It is more water resistant and it's the same thing that the US Army is actually using on their tents to uh, be quite quite straight with you. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I love about it too is over the years they've made it so that if in the event you did need to replace uh, a piece of your vinyl on material it does come off in sections so you're not having to replace the whole entire um, the, the, area, whole the whole entire canvas yep. essentially or material um, you can do it piece by piece which is a nice uh, nice feature on here it does have a Dometic um, awning on it as well that comes right out and you can clip it right into here so you can have that additional um, coverage for those little rainy days and it does have a detachable suburban two burner stove top that you can bring from the inside outside which is definitely a nice feature and if you have owned a tent trailer before you do know the massive benefit of the fact that you can unzip all of of these areas here and it does provide you with a bug screen and some nice airflow coming in so you're not going to get too hot um, not really requiring you to even have an AC Mark, I think every section has a window actually so pretty much yeah yeah um, Mark why don't we uh, take them on inside let's show them the beautiful fit finish inside sure. this uh, tent trailer absolutely So as you guys can see, once you come in here, we are standing in front of the double bed. Um, it's got all the, the, or the three windows that Mitch was talking about um, in, on these beds. So all of these unzip, you will have that airflow uh, going in and, in and out of the trailer. So a really great feature that Rockwood does with all their tent trailers is that they are gonna provide you guys with a heated mattress. That's so, right. Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the biggest concerns that uh, people have before purchasing a tent trailer is will I stay warm? And, you will absolutely stay warm in here so just with that heated mattress it's gonna it's gonna provide you with a with a ton of heat and you'll be able to stay warm so that's right this also features a furnace as well on it so you're gonna have your own heating inside of it as well so you're not going to be cold during those nights um, it does have a sink area as well you do have a mini fridge underneath here and this mini fridge is a uh, three-way I believe mark yep. three-way fridge so it's yep. gonna run off a of battery propane or electricity so whichever way is more convenient for you with whatever type of camping style that you do. 
additional storage in here for cutlery and all your additional things. The other thing I wanted to point out to you, Mark, can you hold this plant for me, please? I sure can. Thank you. Um, if you're familiar with tent trailers back in the day, um, there has been some cases where people fold them down and they forget to actually shut the lights off. And what has happened is it starts a fire or burns through the canvas material. That's why they have this right here. As you can see, lights are out. So it is a kill switch that kills off once you fold everything down, meaning that nothing can be turned on or left on in here with, with the lights. It does have, it does feature, sorry, all LED lighting inside of the coach as well. So it's gonna brighten it up really nicely for you. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out too is just the beautiful decor that they use inside. Um, it's very modern. You can tell it is, is well built, right? This is actually our autumn wood color from um, our Rockwood Ultralights yeah. um, and uh, any of our Rockwood lineups. So really nice to have. What do we got in this area over here, Mark? So we're gonna have our four person dinette. Um, this is really handy because this will flip down into an extra bed if you guys need it. Um, like I had mentioned, if, if you're you know, if you, if you guys are towing this with a minivan, you're obviously gonna have kids, so you can sleep two over there, two on this dinette, or yeah, on the dinette, and then obviously mom and pa on the bed behind me here, so. Absolutely. Uh, this, is a, this is great too, because it does feature a bit of storage under the dinette as well, and you can access that from outside on the backside. Uh, you do have a lot of features in here as well, just for it being the very first trim level of the Rockwood product, but there is some USB ports here down by the dinette. Um, <clears throat> as well, it is equipped with a Wi-Fi router on it. Um, sorry, excuse me for that. Um, it is equipped with a Wi-Fi router in case you did want to connect to any Wi-Fi uh, to any campground that you're going to. So you can do that as well. Um, what else was I gonna show you? I'm so sorry, guys. It's all good. You can see we've got some additional storage down here too. So some storage here, you've got one 10 volt outlets on the side here if you guys wanna plug in your laptop or something like that. Um, but yeah, overall, great trailer. And we absolutely love this floor, floor plan here at Rangeland. So, Mitch, what do you say? Why don't we show them the next trailer? Yeah, it's gonna take it up a notch. So if you wanna follow us over, we're gonna take you now to the 1910 ESP. Sure. Now, one of the number one questions that I get asked all the time uh, for any of my clients that are buying their first time trailer or their first time um, tent trailer is, aren't these a hassle to set up it will to shoot you guys straight will require a bit of work but for the most part um, you can set these guys up your first time within about 20 minutes yeah um, to a half an hour then you're gonna get quicker we also will teach you all of the best ways to efficiently set it up because um, I know that can be daunting after a long drive however we also do have an extensive tutorial list on our YouTube channel showing you how to set up each and every one of these floor plans uh, effectively so now <clears throat> here we are in front of the 1910 ESP so this is going to be a 10 foot box um, the ESP stands for extreme sports package so it is going to offer uh, a few more additional options that you weren't going to get on to on the uh, 1940 yeah in LTD. fact uh, it, you see this checker plating here so that's one of the options that the ESP is going to carry um, this is great so if you have any rocks kicking up it's going to protect the trailer and then we do have a two inch block as as well for additional ground clearance and then you're also going to get the off-road tires so that's right it's really good overall the ESP package also does feature a thousand watt inverter a lot of people are taking these ones off the beaten path in the middle of nowhere um, so you do have like Mark said that additional uh, ground clearance it does have the thousand watt inverter and it does have a solar panel on it already equipped as well um, you will get a Bluetooth stereo on this one for uh, so that you can listen to your music and enjoy it out there. <clears throat> now, Mark's gonna tell, uh, take you a bit through some of the features on the front and what this has additional on it. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing we love is gonna be this pass-through storage compartment. So as you can see, uh, or sorry, not pass-through, um, but as you can see, we do have a ton of storage. It, it is accessible from the top though. Mm -hmm. um, which is what I was trying to get at, but yeah, no, absolutely. So we love that here at Rangeland, um, super popular. You can stow a lot of things in there. 
So at this uh, length here with the 12 foot box, an overall length, you're gonna be sitting at 17 feet two inches from hitch to bumper. And it's gonna come in at about 2,300 pounds dry weight. So it is gonna bring you up a little bit in the weight category, but uh, it is a bigger um, tent trailer and a bigger box size. You will also get on this one two 20 pound propane tanks. And then you do have uh, the space back there for your battery housing. It also does feature the uh, power lift system just like uh, the first one did as well so you're not going to have to do any type of hand cranking um, until it comes to your stabilizer jacks but that's going to be pretty much the extent of your hand cranking for sure this one will come with an additional outside um, kitchen kitchen as well so yeah. you will get um, the cast iron griddle yeah. with it and then um, I want to show you something over here because this isn't something that you're typically going to see with most comparables in the market um, right here is going to be your propane connection so you never have to worry where you left this connector piece um, it's always going to be right there and it is connected to your two 20 pound propane tanks on the front so when you hook up your griddle out here you can just plug it in and you're ready to go you don't have to worry about that Awesome. Well, why don't we go inside and we'll show you around a bit. Absolutely. Go ahead, Mitch. So just when you're walking in, you will see that we have a bunch of buttons over here. So we are going to have our media station. This is where we've got our radio. You can connect via cell phone to your radio. Uh, I believe it is zone two, so you can play outside speakers, your inside speakers as well. We've got our awning lights there. That's something I didn't mention is you're going to have your bright white LED lights, which is really great. You got your inverter down there, some USB ports, but and you're rigged and off for the races. Oh yeah. Um, the one thing I love about this floor plan is that it does give you the double bed up here and then queen bed up there. Um, so you do have two spacious beds, but then you do have a massive dinette area. If you do get rained in, you guys want to sit down, play some cards or board games. Um, this is definitely a great place and a great seating area. This does fold down to also make into a bed as well. And then I wanted to point out that they do give you a little bit of a table extension. Maybe you have a few extra people joining you for your camping trip this year um, so that everybody can eat inside or play some cards or some games all around. And this table is movable. So you can bring, keep it inside, you can bring it outside, use it as a prep table if you'd like as well. Um, the other thing I'll point out too is that they do provide you with one um, fan light that you can plug in just up here. It will clip here. Um, over top of the bed so that in the middle of the night if you needed to get up you can turn the light on you can find it They do give you additional storage area over here for each uh, bed end as well. So you can store um, Anything you clothes, pretty much yeah. want clothes or electronics or books or flashlight sure. anything you'd like just above Mitch's head there You'll also see that we do have a 10 blade high flow fan um, That is great because you can open one of the windows and you can turn that fan on and you will draw a draft throughout the entire trailer that's right. What do we got going on over here, Mark? So just to my left here, you guys will see that we do have a three burner suburban cooktop. Uh, this is great because the options are limitless. You can do uh, one frying pan and two boiling pots of water. And then we've obviously got our sink over here. Just below that, we're gonna have our furnace as well. And then we're gonna have our three cubic foot mini fridge too, so. The one thing I wanted to point out that is also different on this uh, model and floor plan uh, compared to the, the one we just came from is this does have a six gallon quick recovery uh, propane electric hot water tank on it as well. So you can have hot water inside of this coach. Exactly. Um, yeah, and then up front here, we're gonna have our queen bed. So again, where mom and pa are gonna sleep, unless you guys let the kids have it and you're gonna <laughs> sleep on the double bed, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So yeah, it's uh, overall a ton of sleeping capacity in this trailer. Both are heated mattresses, like Mark had mentioned in the last one as well. So you're still getting that awesome feature inside of there. I know that I have tons of clients that rent and rave about their heated mattresses and they absolutely love it. One last thing to touch on just before we head out of this trailer. Mm -hmm. um, just to the right of Mitch's head here, we've got our, these little tabs in the roof here. So this is great because Rockwood's given you additional storage, um, whereas you, or additional hanging storage. Yeah. Um, so I believe the storage compartments are tucked away right now, but they do just hang there and then you will get probably three shelves. That, three shelves worth, yeah. yeah. So you can store your dry goods, you can store any additional, it is, essentially serves almost like a pantry as well. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out too was underneath here, 
you're gonna see, and I'm good thing I, yeah, I can grab this. remember to show you guys, but tucked underneath here is going to be your Dometic Porta Potty. So it is a, um, it is a, um, universal porta potty you can keep it in here if you really wanted to or you can take it outside most people do take it outside but it is a nice place just to tuck that away um so it does come with a porta potty inside there we can just take these out all right awesome Perfect. i think we'll lead into the next trailer let's do um, it i'm, I'm sure excited on there yeah we're gonna kick it up a notch <laughs> if we haven't already Okay guys, so here we are in front of the biggest one, the baddest one. We are in front of the 2318 GESP. Mark, what is this floor plan feature? So this floor plan is gonna feature a slide out dinette and that is why it is so sought after. It, it uh, allows for a lot more um, room inside the trailer. Absolutely. And then you are gonna have two queen beds in this. So you have, again, a ton of sleeping capacity um, and overall uh, real estate inside the trailer. So this trailer is weighing in at around 2,800 pounds dry weight. Um, 19 feet 4 inches overall so it's a big bit of a bigger unit but mm -hmm. it's still it's it's one of our highly sought after so now just to be clear if you're just starting to get into tent trailers researching um, when Mark says 19 feet overall length and what we've quoted from the past two we're talking about closed so that means when the trailer is packed away and folded down yeah, no, absolutely. We'll get additional space once you, uh, you know, set it up. It will be longer, but for the most part, it's good to know at home in case you're wanting to store this in your garage um, or on your driveway. For sure. So let's go over some uh, amazing features on the 2318G. Um, so again, number one, this is going to be our ESP model. So. ESP, as Mitch said, extreme sports package. You get that two inch checker plating, or sorry, three inch, four inch checker plating here. Uh, you got the two inch block, and then you are gonna have the off-road tires as well, so. That's right, the 15 inch off-road tires yep. are definitely handy to have on this coach. You do have a um, storage compartment up here. It does give you, or sorry, they do come equipped with a full pull-out bin system as well, which is awesome to have for that additional storage. When you're taking a trailer somewhere your storage is going to be very very limited so it is nice to have this up front so that you can put all your your additional stuff in there <clears throat> what's that behind there mark what is this that is your cassette <laughs> and not a tape deck <laughs> Yeah, awesome. So this is for the bathroom. Um, you know, you have easy access to the black tank, obviously, um, which uh, in turn, easy dumping too. So mm -hmm. really nice to have this. This trailer is equipped with a full bathroom so, or a wet bath. So so in your trailers, you would usually have uh, a black tank system. In this case, what you have here is a cassette. So it will there will be a clear tube in there letting you know when it's starting to get full. Um, it does have an airflow system in it to release any type of smell as well so it's not coming back up inside the trailer and then like mark said once it's full you pull her out and then you get to look like the flight attendant while you're walking around <laughs> the campsite empty that guy out and you're good to go yeah that's usually the dad's job oh yeah for right sure. um other thing to, to, to feature on here too, just like we had seen on the 1910, you do have your Quick Connect propane right there that is going to be connected to your two 20 pound propane tanks. Same thing as the last one, you do have that power lift system, so definitely not gonna be hand cranking much on this coach. It does come with a cast iron uh, griddle for your outside cooking as well. If you've seen any of our other videos for this uh, virtual RV show, you know that those cast iron griddles, you can pretty much cook anything. Oh, yeah. I think you can even do butter chicken, you were saying. Yeah, butter chicken, yeah. Right? That's it. So, uh, power plugs here, nice LED strip underneath. You do get a nice awning that comes out and it will clip. You can mount it right to the actual trailer itself so it's nice and sturdy, or you do have the capability to actually mount it right into the ground if you'd like for more for sure. stability and area coverage. Um, 
Let's head inside. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's okay. Right here is going to be where you're going to fill your uh, your water tank up, and then this guy does come with a six gallon quick recovery hot water tank that runs off electricity or propane as well, so you will have hot water on this coach. Just to touch on before we go inside, you'll see that it does have the inverter badge, just like Mitch had mentioned on the previous model. Um, we do have a thousand watt inverter, and then we are going to have that 90 watt solar panel on top too. So if you're starting to dig into researching, um, you know, off off grid camping or dry camping or boondocking, what that inverter is going to allow you to do, guys, is it's going to take your power over from DC to AC, essentially allowing you to utilize your batteries for anything that is a thousand watts, um, meaning that you're going to be able to use your 110 plugins inside of there. You can run a small um, coffee maker. Coffee appliances, maker. Yeah. Um, I went camping once with Mark. He is adamant about bringing his little blow dryer that he has for his hair, and we tested it. It, it works ran, great. It works great, yeah. right? So, all right, let's step on in. For sure. I heard your blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a lot going on here. Tons of features to cover. Uh, Mark, why don't you start us off with this area of the trailer? Okay. G. Awesome. So as you guys can see, we do have our queen bed back here. It's going to be the heated mattress. Um, just up top, again, we have our storage, uh, and then we've got a connection Connection. Storage, yeah. yeah, and then we've got a uh, connection for a fan here. So this is great. It's going to be the LED light as well. So just above that, we're going to have our 10 blade high flow fan. Um, once again, you can open the window, crack that, and then you're going to get a draft going through the entire trailer. That fan is amazing. Um, if you're from Alberta, we typically don't get as hot of weather that's going to require uh, AC. But the nice part about having that uh, fan, like Mark was saying, is that thing can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this coach in under one minute so if you guys go for a hike and everything is all zipped up and you come back in here it is going to be hot inside of here it's going to hold that heat inside uh, you unzip one of your bigger area windows or just slide down the window on your door you crank that fan up to level four and it's going to pull all the hot air right out of this trailer in under one minute um, just behind you here we have our we have another additional bed so this just pulls out and then you would flip um, the cushions down and then you have a large sleeping area as well. Tons so. of sleeping space inside this, oh, right, yeah. Mark? Oh, absolutely. Right. Another uh, thing, too, over here, which um, is also not common inside of a tent trailer, and people are shocked when you tell them, hey, it has a slide. Yeah. And they say, no way, I got to see this, right? This is your dinette slide. It pulls right on out. It does fold down to make another additional sleeping space. I think you can sleep up to two, four, six, seven people inside of here. And if you really want to go crazy i mean you probably do more oh yeah you right bring a cot whatever um other thing too is you can fit four adults around this dinette no problem or you can fit a family of four two kids right and two adults <clears throat> the other thing that we're going to point out here and mark's going to show you mr cameraman we're going to actually swap you spots what do we got going on here behind these curtains mark um just excuse me a moment <laughs> 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 yeah, no, right here we're going to have our uh, our bathroom inside the, or our wet bath, inside of the 2318. So this is really handy. You can obviously see we've got our shower head down there. Um, and then we do have our toilet as well. So just imagine dad yelling at everybody, clear out the trailer. This is his <laughs> spot. So, <laughs> right. Um, that will, this toilet does go right down to that cassette that we had shown you uh, previously on the outside. <clears throat> so I want to point out, it does come with a curtain to give you a little bit more privacy. Um, and then there is a secondary curtain that it does come with as well. So it serves as almost a changing area so that you don't have to change in front of everybody. Sure. Right. Um, um, what do we got going on over here in the kitchen area, Mark? So this is going to be our three burner cooktop again. So a great or a great feature that Rockwood does. You can do your frying pan, two bot or two pots of boiling water. Mm -hmm. um, just to the right of that, we do have our sink, which is going to allow for hot and cold water. Just below that, we're going to have some storage as well. Um, as you can see here, you know, put your forks and your knives in there. Mm -hmm. And then just below that, we're going to have our three cubic foot fridge again. And then we do have our 
uh, fuse fuse panel down there. We've got our inverter button to the right of it. So again, that a thousand watt inverter we are talking about. Um, but yeah, and your USB ports. So we've got some speakers. Again, you can zone out for the outside or the inside, whatever you may choose. Um, and then just behind me, we're also gonna have our queen bed heated mattress. We will have some storage up top here. And then we will have a fan or an overhead fan with an LED light in it as well. So, and both mattresses, if if you're wondering are heated as well like Mark had said from the first get-go that is a standard feature inside these Rockwood trailers um, yeah I just wanted to point that out we do have our solar charge controller down there too so absolutely yeah so we'll let you get in there with the camera mr. cameraman so yeah our, our uh, entertainment slash um, convenience control area, area. control yep. yeah so you do have a Wi-Fi Ranger sky 4 Wi-Fi Ranger on here as well so you can connect to Wi-Fi at a campsite if there is uh, Wi-Fi there Bluetooth stereo system inside and uh, or sorry outside speakers um, so that you can listen to your music so I mean she's fully equipped and ready to go into the middle of nowhere for you guys to have a beautiful camping moment well guys, that pretty much wraps up our segment on our tent trailers, our Rockwood tent trailer line. We do have a ton of floor plans, different floor plans in the Rockwood uh, tent trailer category. For sure. So if you'd like to come down, come down. We're having our virtual RV show this weekend uh, from Thursday to Sunday. Um, we have a ton of pricing, our amazing pricing deals going on, tons of giveaways. And then we do have massive incentives also on factory orders. And we have a ton of inventory in stock. So just come on down, join the fun and we hope to see you there.